you moved. And that time that you're like, you know, should I change the blade? Yes, I should change the blade. Do I know where my blades are? No, I don't know where my blades are. So life's about trying to save money. <laughs> and but then until you try to fussy cut two circles into the side piece. And then you end up with all this wasted stuff. Whereas I just could have just done it haphazardly and not have wasted fabric. Like this fabric is expensive and I've just, now this is all scraps because I was trying to get two dots in the center. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I need to have stop because um, I'm kind of annoyed with myself and for doing that, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then I'm going to come back and cut the rest because that's that pile here is just wasteful. I have gone ahead and cut all the pieces out and fused on the interfacing and batting and the little pocket and I folded that over ready to sew. And these are the side pieces <laughs> um, with my little eyes, they look like eyes. And then I've got the two interior pieces and I've marked out the layout for the pocket. And now I'm just ready to sew the hem of the pocket to then sew it onto here. And then this is a pretty quick project. So, and then from there, it's, it's gonna go for flying, I think. So let's just sew this piece and we'll move on. So I've hemmed that piece. Now I just need to sew it to the interior panel. And I think I'll do it this way. I'm gonna line, I've marked it kind of with a pin and I'm just going to line that up and then sew along here. I think I'll just give that a quick pin. I'll just make sure it's even on those sides. Quickly sew that. I don't think I need the walking foot on the machine, but it's there from the last project. So I will keep, keep it on for this project. So now I'm just going to, oops, I'm gonna move it out of the way, fold this up and then I'll have a pocket. Look at the matching. That was, that was not intentional, but it looks pretty good to me. So I'll just pin it here. Now the question is, do I want one big pocket, one small pocket, or should I try for the middle? Let's call this here the middle, down this line here maybe. Maybe the line here I'll do for the middle. So I'm just gonna sew down here, here, and down here. And then we'll have a pocket. Probably could have basted that one, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna sew down this one. Where's the thread? And the last one. And then we're into the, well, the next step. So basically now we just make a sandwich and we sew all from here all the way around and then we're also going to do the same with these one the side panels as well. Now I've sewn around all of them um, and then I'm just going to trim the corners and turn them inside out. This is not a very technical pattern so let's hope it's going to continue to be a not technical pattern because it's actually kind of fun because it's not technical. 
Sometimes patterns are so hard and complicated. Let's see, Let's see if we can turn it around and then we're going to baste the top openings closed. And then once I've turned them over, I've poked the corners out and then it's based along here. I've turned them all inside out, I've pinned and now I'm just going to baste, but my basting is just normal stitch along the top. I don't like the basting stitch on my sewing machine for that reason. I don't know why. so far now I'm just going to mark where I need to put the side panels in I didn't mark them before but what I can just do is line up the seam line with my stitched line and come up oh, it's on the other side of the paper <laughs> here oh here it is this line here I'm just going to put a pin in to mark it and then come up and do this side and then I'm going to do the other side as well easy up again go. and then these is where I put the side panels which are these ones so we can just put them here we sew them on okay see it's starting to come together now the pattern says to whip stitch these together but I was thinking that I could just stitch them because I think it's going to work the same. I'm just trying to line it up here. Get all the threads out of the way. It's a bit thick but... that's done let's have a look take the pins out because when I turn it over then I've got this a nice firm inside piece to then fold it up and what I'll do is I'll finish the rest off by hand but it's given me that nice firm solid edge here it's gonna be hard to do these ones by the sewing machine but I can do the other ones yeah no I think that was good Definitely those ones on the machine on all the rest will be hand stitched. So that's okay. I will hand stitch them whilst watching a DVD. I um, was wanting to, finishing watching True Blood actually. I found my DVD stash in the cupboard and I went, oh, I never finished the True Blood series. So the kids aren't home. So I'm going to finish that, finish the series whilst they're home. Okay, so what I'll do, now I've tidied all that up. I'm going to whip stitch these together and then up here and then you get to do the, the purse clip which is really cool. Okay, I'll see you back when I've sewn those together. Sewing these is easier than what I thought it would be. And it's quite relaxing and you can do it in front of the TV you can do it with your kids talking to you so it'd be good if you wanted to make a whole bunch and then just leave this step for when you've just got some quiet time away from the sewing machine because it's actually easier than what I thought and then check out this box that I'm sewing and then all I'm going to have to do is do the clasp so quite it's actually you know so far pretty easy now I think this next piece is actually the piece that's the fiddly piece is the clasp so 
<laughs> I've got to get this um, the paper string undone. It's been a while since I've done a clasp. I used to do them all the time, but I just uh, moved on to my other things and now I want to do it again for some reason. So let's just measure a twine. This, this pattern says to turn it into four pieces of string. It does rather than like two pieces of string. So you got that piece, that piece, and then four small ones. One, two, three. I always wonder why they say paper string, not not normal string. Three, four. The thing is, I haven't used my glue in a while, so that's going to be fun. I need to get a toothpick, I think. All right, yeah, I need to find a toothpick. Let the fiddly bit begin. I actually might do this on a piece of plastic. Let's see if I can get a bunch of glue out. Oh, it's not going to work. Anyway, the whole idea is you put glue in here. Don't get any glue on the outside of the frame. So I'll, this is just a bit boring, so I'll come back when I've done all this. And then you do your magic wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, and put it in, which is not that easy. Unless, of course, you've done a thousand of them. This is a... <laughs> I managed to do one side and then I turn around and then it comes out the other side. I'm sure there's handy tips for this. But then, um, patience. Patience, patience, patience. So I'm gonna turn around, fiddle with this, get it all done and then come back and show you. Once I've got it in and I've pressed the centers, you know, the clasp closed. But look, it's working. Oh, look, that piece is out. The string's out. It's all about fine jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle. But you can do it. Look, it's doing it. One step at a time. And here it is, all done, all complete. And yes, I got glue on the frame, <laughs> but you can rub it off. That's the whole purpose of it. So it looks really cool. I'm actually thinking I might put it next to my bedside table for dumping my glass next to my bedside table because it's like perfect glass size. Like boom, I can put some stuff in here and my lip balm that I keep there. So yeah. I'm liking it. I like the style. I like how it will squish it down a bit. Oops, I've dropped it. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping it. It's cool, isn't it? I really like it. I'm glad I made it. And I and it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard. So let me know what you think. I haven't used um, one of these frames before. I actually thought the frame was silver, to be honest, when I started. Um, but anyway turns out it was gold so you can buy these as a kit you could buy them as a pattern but you can you probably use all sorts of uh frame sizes but yeah it's cool isn't it it's different to the normal the normal um purse kits that you get i'm really happy with it i think it's really cool it's got the two pockets in here 
Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks for staying with me. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it.